Okay, guys. So uh, last time when I did my uh, solo video, I forgot to do, uh, forgot to include the uh, sub panel that I uh, put in um, to run the wire, um, the outlet into my house. So here's the sub panel. It's uh, somewhat pretty uh, simple. Uh, just buy the sub panels um, uh, from Home Depot or any hardware store. It's about, I think I spent about twenty-two dollars on this one, and then a few breakers and. Uh, and uh, the wire going to from the inverter to the uh, sub panels. So the wire going th from the inverter, um, 2,500 uh, continuous watts. So I just go with uh, an eight gauge, um, eight gauge with the rubbery um, uh, on, on the outside. So you know I don't think you have to do that, but uh, I just it's pretty cheap. So it's only like I only bought a, a three uh, foot length so it's, it's like a uh, few dollars five dollars six dollars i believe so i just go with that um so basically my inverter have um you can either use this outlet right here or you can uh, connect the um, uh, the wire into this um uh port right here uh, if you do this you get you know maximized power um you can get 2500 watts out of it but if you use the if you use the outlet, then you can only get probably 1800 or so. Um, so I will open up the sub panel and show you how I did the wiring. Okay, so let's start with, off with this meter. Um, you might wonder why um, is there another meter right here. Uh, remember those two that I have over here um, still haven't really permanently mounted yet. I'm still trying to figure out what's the best way. It may get a box cut the hole and then put all of the meters in and label them I haven't done nothing that yet the wire is still kind of a mess so ignore that for now so you might be wondering um, why there's another put I put another meter right here this one is AC though um, so it, it's different than the other two so this one goes in um, this one contain a CT uh, clamps um, so basically here's the inverter um, three wire going in, a hot, a neutral, and a ground going in. This big rubber cable um, goes in, um, and then the hot get um, the clamps go around the hot, um, and then the um, uh, the neutral and positive uh, get power. This thing get power from the 120 volt. Measure um, the voltage coming out, and then. Um, it's not really accurate. It, it should be like 125, but it's, you know, this thing is read it at 129. So, but I don't really, that's not that big of a deal for me. Um, what I was curious is how much is my, the, the, my components are using. So this will give me um, how many watts um, that it's using right now. It's using uh, 15 watts. And then the energy consumption that it, since I have put in my system, um, I mean, I, I bought this thing like two weeks after I put in my system. So, and then it, it's been installed for about 30 days. So in 30 days, I, I've been using 181 kilowatts out of my solar. So I want to put this in so that I can keep a total record. So this uh, sub panel is a 220 sub panel. So you have two bar. Uh, the bottom one's 110 and the top one is 110. Um, so what I did, what I had to um, pretty much jump. Uh, so I only have the 110 inverter. So I, what I did is I, I jumped it. So that I saw the neutral, uh, I'm sorry, the, the hot right here coming in, going to the bottom bar. And then I jump an, a cable from this joint, go around and it jump into the top bar. And then here is the uh, neutral uh, line going on to the top. That's where you mount all your neutral into there. And then the uh, hot would go into the black and then into each of the um, uh, circuit breaker. So basically the circuit breakers would, would uh, this one would use the top bar. This one would use the bottom bar. But seeing I jumped it, the jump the, the the jumper right here it, it's technically the same but i want to use both of the bar instead of using just the bottom bar and having to skip um, a slot so i mean if you you don't have to do the jumper if you just want to skip 
a slot like one right here one right here and then one right here but i want to be able to use all of my uh, the, uh circuit breaker for future reasons so i just jumped it for now um so the ground ground to go into a combiner right here so all, that's where all of the ground goes to you see up here okay um and then the new the um, uh, neutral all of the white goes down here I'm sorry up here and then basically the hot goes in go into this one get jumped to the top one um, and then that that's pretty much it and recently yesterday I have added a um, I have added a uh, another outlet here so I can use you know stuff in my garage um, I still haven't uh, I need to add another uh, 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 breaker for this uh, outlet. Uh, I haven't haven't uh, bought buy one yet for that, so I just jumped into one of these. Um, so basically, two out uh, two circuit breaker. This one go into my uh, uh, my living room uh, and kitchen that have the uh, air conditioner, and then uh, some uh, another outlet for the kitchen side, um, and then this one. Uh, is the one that go into the laundry room for the washing machine so they both uh, 15 amps and that seemed to be um, enough um, for what I'm doing so and then of course this line all of the wire to th those two outlets go straight up into the attic and then uh, right across towards the house so and i mean that's uh that's pretty much it uh, i was thinking to cut a hole right here in that, that metal facing plate and then put the this meter here but you know that not sure if that's a, a, a smart thing to do or not so i haven't find a place for that meter yet i might just attach it to the bottom instead of cutting that hole so <sighs> Okay, so here is a sneak peek of the new uh, commercial mountain um, solar ground solar mountain hardware that I uh, pick up from uh, Craigslist. So I went on Craigslist looking for some uh, um, Unistruck to do the the mountain and replace those two by four and stuff out there and make it a better mount, uh, as I mentioned in the last video. Um, and then I found the guy that's selling this unit truck um, he, he they have a company and they're a commercial contractor they install big big um, large uh, solar units and they actually um, install for one of the big college uh, here in, uh, in Arizona and this is their leftover and their spare um, so basically these are the the rail for the solars and each of this rail would uh, lay two of my panels and then it goes on to this big post uh, they he actually gave me their um, um, design uh, plan and everything and how all these things should be mounted it should be like tw uh, 12 feet deep that's how much it was buried into the ground <laughs> that's pretty crazy and then it goes on to this uh, post um, and then the, the rail would, would get attached to this post with this uh, u-bolt and all that stuff and then um, this thing have like a 20 degree angle, I believe. Um, so I'll, 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 I'll start playing with this and see how I should be able to mount this. But I got this whole thing, all the Unistruck, the aluminum, you know, posts and all this for $150. Um, even if you buy it in scrap metal weight, you know, it, it's worth it. Um, and then I'll see all that nuts and bolts over here. Uh, he gave me all of this. I only bought the, the metal stuff, but he gave me all the nuts and bolts. Uh, he gave me a bunch of nuts and bolts for the Unistruck too. The one we got the spring loaded. Um, and then a bunch of the U-bolt. Uh, gave me a bunch of corner clamps, uh, corners uh, for the, the Unistruck. So it was uh, one hell of a deal and pretty nice guy. So that's, uh, that's all the sneak peek. And hopefully uh, when I have time over the winters, uh, once I uh, once winter comes and I can uh, 
be sure where the sun is going to be compared to summer um, and then I'll pick my angle and then uh, how I should have the, the panel be and then I'll come up with a design and then I'll remount everything and then do another video by then um, as you see there the video earlier um, I did add two more panels so I'm a six panel now but I still have another extra panel doing nothing right here in my garage and that's not good right solar panel should be in the sun so I'll keep you posted about this one.